Oh, plug them up. We're gonna take our shoelaces and we're gonna throw them at Chris. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Whoa, bud. What's going on everybody? Today we're gonna to be going over how to repair some skate shoes. We got my shoes that are looking pretty garbage and we got <laughs> Chris's shoes. Some Air Forces. Pretty uh, torn up. Yeah. yeah. I don't know man. I think we can repair it. It's pretty soft. Dude. I think we got it. What you will need. We're gonna need some shoe goo. That's how we're gonna repair them shoes. Get it at your local skate shop. Maybe even status skate shop, you know? That's where I got this one. We're gonna need some duct tape. Could be whatever color. My favorite color is blue, so I went with that one. And lastly, a shoe. If it's beat up kind of like this, it's probably it's probably due time to put some shoe goo on it. I just kind of put like duct tape in there. Kind of came apart, so. Maybe some shoelaces, because if your shoes are all destroyed like that, Put some new shoelaces in there. Oh, hold up. So one more thing you need. Some agua. Gotta stay hydrated while you're repairing your shoe. So, first off, get all the weird gunk in there that you might have. And then what we're gonna do, you're gonna get your handy dandy duct tape. Pull off that piece and then Take this half, pull that one in half, press it together, and then what we're gonna do is put this piece in the middle of this other half piece. Right on there like that. So now we have a little bit of glue on each side. We'll stick this guy right into our shoe right here. All right, should look something like that. So you got your duct tape up in there. And then we'll take our shoe goo, apply it to the shoe. Oh, that was an L. And then every time you open it, even if you're gonna use more, you just wanna close it because the air is gonna harden it. So we want this guy to stay locked up. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our duct tape I'm gonna fold this guy in half. And now we have our own paintbrush. I'm gonna take this little guy. And I'm gonna just, you know, paint it in there. There we go, something like that. The more you play around with it, the worse it's gonna be. So it's better just to let it dry for a bit and then go back to it in a second. And we're gonna wanna do couple coats. I just realized uh, <laughs> the glue needs to dry. So maybe I need to get like some other shoes to skate. <laughs> maybe if I just like put a piece of duct tape over it <laughs> and skate it for right now. I don't know. We'll figure it out. All right. Save your paintbrush for later. And then as it's drying, we're just going to kind of put our hand on the inside of your nasty old shoe. So you can kind of push up against the inside. And then we're just gonna kinda dab over it with your other hand. And it dries pretty quick, so. The next coat, right off the bat, so we can get the skate sesh going. When you're doing this, definitely let it dry overnight. And don't be an idiot like I'm about to be. <laughs> but, gotta do what you gotta do. Make sure this is all nice and sealed. And then, you can grab your agua bottle, and then you drink some agua. highly hydrated out here. Or take a little paintbrush. <laughs> I might even just throw a little goo up in that other hole. Plug them up. Make sure it's all dry. But any glue that you have around, like if it's still kind of wet, you can still use it to put it on your shoe even. Just my paintbrush. Brush on the inside. And you don't want to like scrape it across. You just want to like dab it. Repetitive dab motions. <laughs> Make sure you 
out getting glue all over the place. Once it's a little more dry, we'll just go with just our fingertip, go across the whole front side, push it into little nooks and crannies. You can even use your whole palm at one point if it's dry enough. And again, the more you play around with it, the worse it's gonna be. Even though it looks a little funny, it's gonna be like that. That's pretty solid. Once it's a little more dry, it'll look better. And then your shoelaces are all messed up. We'll just get some more shoelaces. Yeah, if the glue is like stuck on your hand, you can kind of just feel like that. Like if it's Elmer's glue on your hand, it'll just come right off. So if you are repairing your shoelaces, you probably need one of these bad boys, you know? So you can cut them shoelaces. Just gonna cut this guy off. Nobody needs it. Always cut away from you. Right, we're gonna take our shoelaces and we're gonna throw them at Chris. <laughs> what you doing over there, bud? Ooh, 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 ooh. Then when our shoelace, make a little X across. All right, so we got a little X like this guy. And then I'm gonna take this under guy, tie it other side <laughs> Got tied in the middle now I'm just going to cut this guy and then throw it at Chris <laughs> cut this side and then not throw it at Chris so we can use this one later not today Chris <laughs> <laughs> That's a good looking shoe right there. And then as long as you keep doing this, the only way it goes out is if the, you keep turning your foot on the board and then the bottom goes out right there. Yeah, just keep doing that and your shoe will last like 20 times longer. And then take your paintbrush, throw it at Chris. If you wanna be an idiot like I am, then you're gonna take your agua bottle and drink some agua. Then you're gonna take what could be a paintbrush. Maybe I'll let it dry a little bit, but I'm just gonna slap her on there like that and then just not do as many kick clips. <laughs> All right, so do you want me to throw some shoe glue in here? Yeah, this is a, yeah, this is a little bit. Yeah, I could do that. Yeah, All right, let's bit. do that. Let's let this guy dry a little bit and then we'll fix up Chris's shoe a little bit. It's a tough one. Eh. Honestly, if you just throw a bunch of goo in there and just press it in, I, I think it's chilling. Bring it back to life. Yeah, save the laces. Yeah, the laces are good. Don't need this anymore. Throw it at Chris. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't throw it at Chris. <laughs> so we're gonna hook up Chris, slap it all in there. Make sure you close it up quick. Ready to squeeze the sides. There you go. This one, I mean, probably don't even need a paintbrush. Just want to get it all over everywhere. Oh, just put something inside of it to like push it out. If there's no holes, then you probably don't even need anything inside. The goo is gonna hold on. Oh. So I just push it with my hand inside, outside, maybe even your palm. And if you want to be safe, then you can put more goo in there, but Chris can get his own shoe goo. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's pretty solid. It already looks pretty it's solid, yeah. held up now. And the more it dries, the more it's going to hold on too. All right. Let's get this skate sash going before we lose daylight. Cause we already are losing daylight. I don't know what kind of spiders and tarantulas under there, but. Mani pad? Yeah, I found it. <laughs> Where? I went to Joshua Tree. No, 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 Enzo Borrego. And I found it like just on the side of the road <laughs> and put it in my trunk. <laughs> I was like, I'm taking this. Yes, sir. This thing's fun. Gap rail. Yeah. 
a little grass gap. Yo, Eric, try and skate, Eric. All right, got the roomy Eric out here. Chris Bell up to the plate. Whoa, bud. You gotta be on top of that thing. Whoa. Do the indoor board. Get a little stall on the quarter pipe. Like a 50? Ooh, 50 would be pretty gnarly. Yeah, dude, it's literally like a spy. Yeah, that's why it'd be sick. I destroyed my ankles so I'm gonna thing. Don't destroy your ankles. All right, now I'm standing over here, so you have to do it. Ooh. Okay, little teeter action. You just gotta just go faster, dude. Nope. I want to see a, a little nice feeble star or something smith on it. Like, oh, I want to see the nose dip over. You got that. Ooh. Oh. That's the bang of the video. It's oh, getting God. dark. Got to get that. That's buck. Yeah, right there. And back. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Switch. Ooh. Ooh. Almost lost a nut. <laughs> oh. oh, dude, you got that. You're straight coming out of the darkness over there. <laughs> I think that about does it. Yes, sir.